for me at least. Uh, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. I've decided I'm going to make a new journal. I'm going to make a new one. Uh, so this is the base. This is the spine, if you don't know uh, how our book is constructed. So front, spine and back. This is the leftover from my other book. And these two are the backing of a paper pad for watercolor. Those are quite thick. They're sturdy. They're perfect to make book with, books with. Uh, am I in frame? Yeah. Um, so, this is the base. So to begin with, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna attach these together. And what I like to do is to use this skewer barbecue skewer and I put this in between like this and then I attach these two on this side uh, to make sure they there is a gap between um, because if there's no gap between if you put them like this you're not gonna be able to fold the journal or close it or open it or you know because these two edges will collide with each other it won't work basically so you need some gap between this and this so that's why I use this to kind of measure Let's see, sorry if my head is in the way now but looks like I did a oof up here the spine is slightly larger than the covers apparently wait hold on is it i thought it was good yeah slightly it's a sliver that's fine i don't care that that's okay i can live with that but anyway uh, the easiest way to do this would be to stick this like that and wait with that for a moment and then take tape let's see you can do that take some tape and just tape it over and flip it over and then remove the stick I think I'm gonna do that I wonder if I should decide what's front and back Right now. No, I'm not gonna bother. That's fine. So take some tape. And oops. I just woke up, so I have the morning sniffles. Sorry for that. I just couldn't wait. I was excited. Okay, so here we go. Like that. Now, in theory, if this works, it did, but it worked last time. I should be fine to remove this, and now there's a gap. Uh, I mean, you could probably do this with eye measurement or whatever it's called you know just eyeball it uh, but then if you do that you might put it on crooked so there's less gap here than here and I mean it could be that now too but I tell myself this works better for me because then I can just push them together when I glue and or tape it, it should be fine. So I'm only using regular packing tape. Uh, the issue with this is that some glues can have an issue sticking to this because it's so glossy. But 
or actually when uh, I made the other one the other day I used the same method and to be honest the fabric that I tried to glue down did come loose right here at the spine where it moves so it to be honest it did not adhere to the tape very well but I, I don't mind it's my own journal so I don't really care uh, I, I I enjoy my journals to be somewhat messy. I I don't mind. It's fine. I'll I'll deal with it later if it's an issue. I'll like repair it. So that's fine. Um, yeah. But if you want to make a journal and you don't want like mistakes to happen use uh, a different kind of tape that isn't glossy like this or something that has texture like uh, some type of paper tape I know there are, some one, there are ones that uh, you can add water to and then adhere it's for like I don't know uh, I think it's a type of packing tape actually uh, so you just uh, paint with water and then you can put on the paper tape it seems really great uh, I don't know what it's called so I haven't been able to buy it because um, simply I don't know what to look for but that's an option that would be smarter to use because that is paper so most things will adhere to it most glues so here's this uh, and now this can fold you see uh, I don't know if you can tell but the when I folded it it kind of sticks lace on top here because it can move and if that's something that bothers you find an another solution to this but I don't care but that can happen it kind of shifts a bit um, these boards or I don't know what they're called um, they should be even on all sides should be because they came di di directly from the paper pad it's a bit uh, worn here there's been a sticker or something but oh well as I said I don't really care and something you can do when you do this if you're smart I'm not the very smartest person is to line them up like this at the beginning so these and these this and this are is actually aligned perfectly according to the thing but when I look at this now I feel like there's a little gap here yeah that's fine so put this like this and do it like that and I see there's gonna be that little thing over there but that's fine Something to be aware of is small tape bits that stick out. I I tend to make t make my tape piece 
like almost exactly the height. So I only get like a small bit to fold over. I think it's smarter to make it a bit longer so you have more to fold over. To get better grab that way. But oh well, that's me. That's per usual. Is my key ready? Yeah, this is my key. <laughs> Too hot, but it's fine. Sorry. Casualty, right? That's me. That's pretty usual. So, since I had issues with this tape the last time, I'm gonna use some double sided tape on this, I think. Oh no, maybe not. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I brought some fabric that I want to use because the thing is if you're new to this uh, this tape isn't very sturdy so we need something to secure the book because when we do this opens close open close and there's stuff in and you know this will get worn down it's just plastic, so it will get worn and broke, break off. Uh, so what we could do is add... Or what we should do, and what we will do, is to add fabric. Uh, I think I'm going to cover the whole thing in fabric, actually. And to make sure that the fabric adheres to the plastic, no, wait. Yeah, okay. Okay, I made my mind. I've made up my mind now. Sorry. <laughs> I had to think. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of this uh, budget ugly stuff. Budget, uh, yeah, it was free because it's an old uh, bed sheet, bed um, duvet cover. Is it, that, is it called that, perhaps? Yeah, so I'm gonna tear this. Can I? Yeah. I'm just gonna take piece enough, piece big enough for the spine. Like that. And this side is folded, so I'm gonna take the other side that I've already prepped it. Fabric scissors. So, like this. This doesn't need to be perfect. That's, this is just the base layer to be sure it will work. So, how am I going to do this? Yeah, let's try this. And this one, this version, this way, I've not tried yet. But I think it will work. Maybe I should know. So I'm gonna take the double sided tape and align it to the to the side and I'm gonna use a scissor that's not for fabric. Like that. Perfect. I could have gone a bit higher, but that's fine. So now there's sticky tape here, and 
for the sake of it I'm gonna add some glue between I don't know if it will work or help or anything but I'm gonna do it if I can get my glue to work stupid mother I'm gonna I'm not gonna swear but oh, yeah it's stupid oh hey it works what do you know like that you can feel where the tape is if you, even if you can't see it uh, how weird is this? do I need a... what are you say? Yeah, for good measure I'm gonna do on the outside as well just to be sure I don't think I need to, but there we go. Perfect. I'm quick before a cat hops up and wants to sit in this. That's always a worry. Oh, I'm sorry I'm so sniffling. Um, sniffly. <laughs> it's the morning. I can't get not, I cannot get rid of it in the mornings. Maybe with allergy meds, but it will clear up eventually. You know, I I thought to myself, I'm gonna wait until it's more until it's better with the nose it's nope I did it wait sorry for that I know it's super annoying to listen to but oh well you get what you get <laughs> well So like this. So the thing I like about this glue is that it grabs super quick. And it dries pretty quick too. So I can be sure that when I do this, it will be ready to work with in a short moment. Because it just needs like five minutes to grab. You should wait, of course, to let you should let things dry properly for the best results. So yeah, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, see, perfect. Now this spine, this side of the spine is secure. Ish. So this is the other piece of the fabric that I tore. Is it wonky? No, it's fine. Skulle du komme og titte? Get rid of that. And then some more tape.
Ja. find my fabric I'm gonna cut it to uh, the right piece and I'm gonna adhere it to one side only and then I'll come back okay so see you It's been, what, 30 minutes maybe, since I glued this down. Uh, if I remember, this should be, uh, yeah, I, I should include the gluing part, just a sp speed up version, just so you can see how I did it. Uh, so. Uh, something I didn't expect, because this didn't happen the last time, was this board. They got a bit warped from the glue. Uh, that wasn't the case with the other one. So, that's a thing. But, oh well, that doesn't really matter. I think it will straighten out once it dries. Uh, let's see, is it in here? Yeah, I didn't glue, I, I missed a spot here where I didn't put glue, but that's fine, you know. I'm gonna wrap this around anyways now, so it won't matter. So for the, for the big, sh for the other side, like when I glue this, I use uh, glue that doesn't dry as quick, and also it's a lot cheaper. Uh, but it apparently is more watery, watery, hard word, uh, than my other glue. But this is cheaper and it's easier to spread out on the surface and it doesn't dry while I do that. Because with this one, quick, quick and dry, um, it will... If I pour out glue and I try to spread it, spread it out, uh, it will start to dry before I can adhere the fabric. So that's something to keep in mind. That's why I prefer a glue that doesn't dry as quick. So that's it. So now I'm gonna do the thing uh, where I fold these edges over. Now it should be quieter. Uh, is this the right way? Yes. Can you see? Yes. So what I was saying is that I'm going to fold these up on all the edges. And you see here, right? Uh, you have this overlap. And so when we fold this, you get like extra bulk. So what we're going to do is to snip of the corner. You go in like at an angle like this, not all the way to the edge, leave a bit. And then once you pass the corner, you go, I'm not sure if you can see, it's a bit hard to show. You go from this side, also at an angle, and you meet up over there. So you get something like this. You can see, right? Yes. So there's a little bit that we can fold up about around the corner that will protect the corner. If we have what we could have done uh, earlier also 
was to cut off the corners so they aren't as sharp sharp but I didn't think about that I wonder if I can do that now because I like them to be a bit blunt yeah somewhat worked so it's not as sharp easier to work with I'm gonna do that on all the Make sure you don't have your fingers between your blades and the scissor. And uh, make sure you don't cut the fabric because that will make a nasty hole in the fabric. Just pull that back. See? This is bad. I can easily. <laughs> don't do that. Perfect. I'm speaking from experience. Yes. So, Uh, okay, so I'm going to begin with the corner. And I don't know actually if this is going to work. So the fabric is a bit stretch, stretchable. I'm looking for. I hope you can see. It's kind of difficult to uh, do this the right way. So this is why I use the fast drying glue because you see it's already stuck down. And now I can add some more glue. And this is already starting to dry up. If I add more, it should be fine. I also like to add on this edge. If you can see that. Kind of messy looking, but it's fine. It will be fine. And then just pull. And make it smooth. And this will like travel through the fabric what's the word i can't remember it ooze out through the fab fabric when you use as much as i do but that's fine i'm an over and i know that <laughs> it's a it's, yeah it's a thing so um, actually, I'm gonna start on this edge and do this side first before I adhere the rest of that. <coughs> It would be easier if this wasn't flopping about in the air because it was warped. I wasn't expecting that when I made it. This is kind of messy if you do it like I do. <laughs> but I don't, you know, I don't know any other way. Messy is the only way I know. Stretch. And rub off glue. Mm -hmm. Glue everywhere. Mm. But 
It's stuck down. We have some nice corners. Ah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. And now we do this. And you can use the cheaper glue to do this part too, of course. But I prefer this more expensive glue that dries quick. However, with the drying quick, you gotta work fast. Oh, that's a lot of glue. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna spread it out. But... <laughs> Don't use that much glue, that was stupid. See, I, I get carried away with putting out the glue. I think I enjoyed seeing the glue pour out or something. I don't know why I do this all the time. <laughs> this isn't the first time I do this. <laughs> this mistake. Uh oh, shoot. My, see? Volcano. That's not why you to get rid of glue. So here, I like to start in the middle, hold the stretch and fold. And then work my way out. And pull. Stretch it up. Let the glue ooze through. So much glue everywhere. This is so sticky. But now we have a cover. <sighs> Very moist. <laughs> Hope you don't feel bad from that word. Moist. <laughs> Fuktig. As we say in Swedish. Damp. So this is what I would say is the correct way of the yarn on. This is how it would look. Here I can see there's a little glue spot. Somehow there was a big air bubble with lots of glue there. Uh, you can see where it's a bit darker. There's a bit of glue. But I don't really care. It's fine. But I'm gonna let this dry. Again, I'm gonna do the thingy with the with the thing. Is this nice? This is nice. I don't know if it will make a difference, but oh well, I'm doing it. And then, uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here, actually, and then make a new video for the next part, so this can dry fully. Um, so next uh, episode will be to make the signatures, actually, because. 
yeah, and cover this up. Uh, what I know is that I'm gonna use a hidden spine on this because this board is so thick. I don't want to sew through it. That's annoying. So there's gonna be a hidden spine. Did I say hidden signature? I probably did. But it's gonna be hidden spine that we're gonna glue to this inside. And then we're gonna have the inside covers like this. And then the signatures. So yeah. But I'm gonna let this dry carefully or fully. And I'll catch you in the next video. But thanks for watching. Uh, I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Thank you. Bye-bye.